Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for your reading. So we're going to do a fun one today and we're going to go ahead and take a look at how people are witnessing you leveling up in some kind of aspect of your life. This could be people that you're on no contact with. We're just going to take a look at a card that's representing you during this time, uh, the way that people are feeling towards you and then also what it is that they kind of want to say to you during this time and then we'll tap into you how it is that they're actually seeing you progress and move on and then we'll take a look at if they even have the audacity or guts to come towards you there with the next muse that will determine like the most likely outcome let's go ahead and take a look at a card to represent my crisis piece for it let's take a look at my aquas Okay, side message, because we have two. Ooh. Ooh. Whew. That was a double-edged sword right there. That was, that was like, whew, heart dropping to the stomach. So maybe this is how somebody feels about you. We have the high priestess and the, and the judgment. Not the judgment. Maybe they feel like you're judging them, okay, in some kind of way. But we have the uh, justice card, which is actually about your fate being determined in the afterlife. Oh my gosh. Um, whoever this is, Aquarius, you definitely have them up at night, okay? Nine of Swords. Now, let's talk about the High Priestess here. This person feels like you read them like a book. Uh, you read them like a book and their intentions and you're energetically saying, keep that same energy. You know, the way that you were trying to come towards me that I saw through, you know, keep that energy. Uh, I feel like you're saying, well, this is almost like leaving it up, not, even though it's not judgment, it's almost like some of you could be passing a message on psychically. I feel like through soul review where some kind of business between the two of you, especially on a soul level and some kind of contract and re reciprocity uh, is over, it's finito. But I feel like you've sent a message up in the astral or higher realms that is awaiting them on soul review. It's almost like, yeah, this connection ended or I had to depart from this connection because of A, B, and C, you know? There's just something around them. Like, there's a message that's awaiting them on the other side. Okay, this person could probably feel that, okay? I don't know. This is just channel. Let's go ahead and take a look at what... Uh, let's get one card to represent you. Uh, we're just in a lot of channeling today. I don't know why, but it's okay. I feel like spirits coming through with so many side messages in these reads. Sending me on like so many side quests. We have the sun card and the star card. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, you guys are glowing and it's showing. Okay, you're not playing around. Okay, especially if this is on social media. Nobody's got you down. This is about you bouncing back, honey. Okay, they <laughs> some of you focus on your revenge body, you know, whatever this is. But yeah, you know, again, it's like you're actually happy and that is... Uh, the best kind of like a comeback that you can actually have it's like that romantic journey back to your own heart now the star card is also about you guys healing at a soul level too and uh, there could be something around like you're healing and starting to be more open and receptive to new connections even if this is like friendships or just networking in some way this is also about you making plans for the future and feeling really optimistic about your future and I feel like that's really showing okay this person is able to observe that possibly on social media there could be something around like you being known as well with this star card um and the sun card it's almost like these uh the, the illumination that's happening around you right now there could be a lot of eyes on you this is about camera lights action and the spotlight being on you and everybody like when it comes to an audience or your connection to other people or people that you're surrounded with it's like everybody is talking about you maybe this person feels like they can't really get away from you it's like they're always hearing about you they're always seeing you somewhere it's like they can't escape you somehow okay so yeah very very optimistic uh, this is also about you taking your creative life force back and your power back okay so yeah that's great let's go ahead and take a look at how they feel towards you seven of coins uh they feel like they don't fuck up like literally we have this seven of coins and the empress at the base um 
they feel like they wasted their time with you, okay? They feel like they were working really, really hard and they were trying to play the long game when it comes to working towards an empress, uh, somebody that they really can't replace, okay? So no matter where they may try to replace you with or who they could try to replace you with during this time, nobody does it quite like you, okay? You can't replace an Aquarius, you can try. They're one of a kind, okay? Seven of Queens, they're definitely feeling like they invested in a situation and they didn't receive what it is that they wanted on Harvest Station Day, okay? Some of you, it was just like the big image that they had when it comes to your life together and the story that they had in their head of how that was going to happen. Uh, some of you, if you didn't even give them the opportunity to be physically intimate with you, they feel like they fucking wasted their time in regards to them trying to build up towards that and then you kind of rejecting that or seeing their intentions and choosing to kind of depart from this situation, okay? But whatever it is, they're definitely feeling like they invested and they didn't receive what it is that they wanted okay let's go ahead and take a look at um what's this yeah and it's because bro you know, if you saw through those playerish games look at that we have seven of swords someone walking with shoes of deception could have been playerish energy type okay nine of coins i'm trying to finesse okay let's go ahead and take a look at what they would want to say to my Aquariuses during this time. Seven of Coins. Unblock me, Aquarius. <laughs> unblock me. I know you blocked me, but hit that blockity block unblock button, okay? Because five of ones, you know, we need to break up to make up or we need to continue to where we left off. I still got some things to say. I feel like there's some kind of unfinished business. I got a lot of hurt on my heart that I need to get out there and uh, communicate to you in some way. This person wants to fight out some more. I feel like you uh, could have uh, checked out um, before they had the chance to do something and they definitely feel like, we'll clarify this. But yeah, there's just something around like, damn, you really, bitch, you really fucking blocked me. Like you really blocked me out here. You know, it's that kind of energy. Like just, Chris, chill out, relax, okay? put that guard down okay some of you may be a little triggering for me to say that but that's what this person would say to you don't shoot the messenger all right let's go ahead and take a look at um how they're actually witnessing you glow up during this time Ooh, the emperor and we have the four of coins um something that you pre i'm hearing premeditated uh some of you it's like some kind of glow up when it comes to your establishment or career and other life goals that you set for yourself you've just been super ambitious and motivated to reach certain goals and you're actually they're actually seeing you level up in your career um some of you it's like just goals that you've kind of set yourself in life and having more of that masculine energy type like really equally equaling that out but there's something about like you visualizing in regards to like wanting to achieve certain things in the physical realm that have come to pass you know they they have witnessed you receive some kind of fruits of your labor um some of you could could have even like manifested someone that was actually like super mature or you may be doing that right now but i feel like a lot of you had some kind of career success there with the emperor or just like goals like some kind of high level of establishment or other life goals that you've set for yourself and achieving that okay their next moves towards you is the queen of cups and the five of swords um they definitely want to have the last word okay i'm hearing the last laugh for some reason i feel like uh you really humbled this person they literally got thrown off their pedestal okay um the carpet was swiped underneath their feet honey so look at this we have the five of swords and the queen of cups triggered triggered um yeah i would hope you're not an aquarius cross watcher because you may be getting triggered the fuck out of right now but for my crisis listen queen of cups and the five of swords uh yeah they're definitely coming up with some kind of plan to try to emotionally manipulate you because this is also where the past comes back knocking and someone tries to make amends but it's because they have a lot that's weighing on them emotionally uh that could lead to some kind of clouded judgment they may not know how to do that in a way that doesn't come across like immature or hostile. Like they may try to present themselves as like all loving, uh, but really it's coming from a place where they may be kind of like, they're holding a lot back that they wanna say to you. So we'll see what this is. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify these now and see what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. 
whatever it was though, it really affected them. Like vibrationy, emotionally. I'm hearing you got them all the way fucked up, you know? So let's go ahead and take a look at the sun. No, I know that's right. Okay. Um damn, does it feel good to be in Aquarius right now? Okay. Look, we have the Sun card and we have the Six of Wands. Definitely social media for some of you. Um if not, there's a way that somebody is witnessing your glow up. Again, camera lights, action, all eyes on you. This is about victorious energy where you've been triumphant of a situation. You've actually overcome some kind of adversity that somebody had brought into your life. And it's actually made you. It didn't break you. What they intended uh, to do towards you, I'm hearing to sabotage or like break you down. It just built you up. Okay, you took the L and you turn it into a W. Whatever this is four of uh, coins like you're standing on business okay you're keeping impairing like your circle tight and close okay so uh, you may be like super selective like even though everyone wants to get to know you you don't want to get to know everybody um there's just something around like something really really impressive that you guys are doing I don't know if it's um, like your achievements that you're kind of doing out there in the world or the way that you're presenting yourself. Again, some of you it is online. Some of you are traveling there with the location card, like you're getting out back out there into the world in some ways. But you're looking good and people are taking notice of you. Like if this isn't a glow up, I don't know what is. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the seven of coins and how they feel towards you. Maybe they're like, why the fuck can't I be part of that glow up, you know? How dare they go and glow up without me? Um, they are definitely at a standstill kind of reflecting on how hard it is to really surrender and let go to the fact that they feel like they had invested a certain amount of time but they didn't receive what it is that they wanted okay again temperance um they're definitely at a standstill okay and i feel like it's it's weird because the way that they feel towards you even if things were moving like downhill at least it was moving but now it's in a place where it's not moving at all and that's what frustrates them like, it, it doesn't matter if it was moving in a good place or a bad place. At least they had something rolling with you. But now they feel like there's absolutely no momentum there. And it makes them feel like, either how can I get that momentum back? You know, they could be trying to see that from a new perspective. And I feel like it's because access has been cut off there with Seven of Wands. So let's go ahead and see what they would say towards you. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Listen, Aquarius, they want to stalk you, okay? have a little compassion you know i want to see what the fuck you're up to because i want to know if you have other options that's what they would say towards you with seven of cups how am i gonna know if you're moving on without me or not how am i gonna know you know if you're seeing anyone else or not nine of swords is keeping me up at night you know i'm feeling really mm, i'm feeling oh poor person you know seven of cups seven of i'm finding these readings really hard to do I'm finding them really hard to do. Like the astral message readings, I feel like I can breeze past them, but doing something that you think would be more simple is the most challenging. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I know someone needs to hear these messages, but Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, again, like this is Scorpio and Venus vibes too. So um, again, there's this level of, you know, so when Scorpio is in Venus, it's a little obsession element to it. Um, there's a little revenge element to it where you do something, I'm going to do it back. Element, again, definitely obsession. A deep, like, sexual connection to you. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here whatever it is it keeps them up at night they basically want to know what you have going on 
I'm not surprised because look at this. And when I said, um, like, if this isn't a glove, I don't know what is. I was thinking the only thing that we'd be missing from this spread is the Empress. And here she is. She so shows up and she shows out here with a sun card. What they're witnessing, we are the Emperor and the Empress. Some of you that are actually going to witness, if they haven't already, you coming into a harmonious union with a counterpart. Some of you manifesting somebody that they wish that they could be, someone that they could never be. Okay, I'm hearing they could never with this energy. Four of Swords, they're quite literally, <laughs> like, they're going to witness you manifesting or calling in, okay? Because there's somebody astral projecting um, a counterpart, you know? Um, if this isn't somebody externally here, Aquarius, like, and then watching you quite literally get wifed up or, you know, husband up, whatever this is, they are going to witness you coming into that homeless masculine and feminine union within yourself and you nurturing and caring and tending to any goal that you want to see in this lifetime and that coming to fruition the womb in the empress energy is a portal it's a stargate that bursts things from premeditated uh like pre-manifested form which is thought into being which is reality and Mars energy is the physical realm and grounding those dreams into reality so they're literally going to watch you manifest your dreams into reality some of you it could be a huge move um whether this is just like in those life goals that you have for yourself and then kind of witnessing you move towards that and get away from them as that happens because we have the seven or swords hiding behind that so this could be something that they witness online okay some of you are going to be moving away or traveling with somebody we have the emperor under there too or just things that you're kind of doing for yourself or within yourself yeah we have the king of cups here with the queen of cups um this person is definitely trying to make up their mind and emotions in regards to how to come towards you they They're really in a place where they definitely feel foolish around how things have gone, okay, with the full card. They're just hoping that you'd be willing to kind of leave everything behind and start fresh with them in some way and kind of be in this harmonious union. But again, with the five of swords here at the base, it's kind of in a shadow element or aspect where they hope that you're foolish enough to fall for something not once, not twice, but maybe three or four times. And maybe they can emotionally manipulate you back into a connection i feel like they want to trigger you in ways that you've have with them okay i feel like they want the final say or like word in or whatever this is that you didn't give them the opportunity to have we have i regret lying to you so again it's like they can't take back whatever it is they did and again this is emotionally manipulative we have i can't stop thinking about you at the base maybe they can't stop thinking about the lie that they regret telling you know that maybe this was like the final straw that hit the camel's back for you here aquarius but yeah um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i don't know how many more I'm, i don't think i'll do this specific style again i think it's just really whew, hopefully you guys enjoyed it yeah um yeah, let me know what other readings ooh, you want to see um, as well. Take a look at your weekly readings on my second channel. That's going to be linked in the description box down below. Hopefully this brought you any clarity that you needed, um, any closure as well, or just entertaining at the very least. But yeah, take a look at your other readings as well on my second channel. Personal reading details are also down below. If you're not already subscribed to this channel or want to stick around for future readings, do consider subscribing. But until next time, Aquarius, bye.